Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the second episode of the first Mass Effect game. We are on our way to get our beacon. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I do like the way the Geth are designed. They look quite awesome. And we've arrived. Lock and load. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh, they're shooting already. Alright, let's try and get a bit closer. Seeing as we don't have much accuracy with this. Oh, with the weaponry. Let's just try and get a bit closer. Land a few more hits on, on our friends. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that was close. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. Die, die, die. And I died. Okay. I think we need to rethink our approach on this particular part of the game. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for the shaky sniper rifle technique and try and get as many as I can from this distance. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, brilliant. He just put up a shield. Did I get him? Because he sure got me. No. And I missed again. Finally. And another one bites the dust. gone quiet. I don't like it when it goes quiet. Ooh. Right, let's go and stop those charges. Disable those charges. See, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. Ooh, that was a lucky. And one Geth is hiding behind the box. Can we get in from this side? Nope. Unlikely. There we go. Assault rifle ready. Might as well just rush him. We did it. Yay. Uh, ooh. Where are those charges? Where are... There we go, there's one right behind us. There it is. Let's 
we've stared it to death. We've got plenty of time for these. Time to gaze this one to death as well. And that was successful. It's too quiet. I don't like... Ah, there we go. Come on. Off your head out so I can blow it off. Okay. Nice. Got a few more items. That didn't sound good. And you get a phone call right when you're recording. How cool was that? Oh no. It's those ugly husks. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay away. Area secured. Right, so let's have a look around. Let's see if there's anything else that we can loot before we go and play with the beacon. Ah, there we go. We've got some more things to loot. Hmm, fairly straightforward. Ah, there we go, another one. No decryption required. Very good, I like that. Free stuff. Okay, that was pointless. But you know, can never be too, too sure with these items. You know, we have to get them all. If we don't turn them into uh, Omni Gel, we can at least sell them. It is a lot easier to to hack in this game. Well, on I meant on the PC version rather. The console was a pain in the backside. I don't know why they didn't do this on uh, on the console. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look at our inventory and see what we can change out, if anything. Yeah. All right. I'll, uh, how do you change it? There's no button. Ah, that worked. Nope. Armor. Can I use any of it? Oh. 
Oh. Come on. We've got six points. Definitely going to invest some in combat armor, assault rifle, seeing as that is what I'm going to use most frequently in this game. Um, yeah, I like the benefits of soldier. Let's do our crewmates as well. Huh, zero point? What? That's not right. No, that's not right. Why? Why can't I level up? Mm, zero point again. No. Right, let's uh, let's have a look in the settings, I guess. Maybe. Titles. Uh, there we go. We don't want that, do we? I prefer to choose my own abilities for the crewmates. Thank you very much. And it's cutscene time. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah, I think that something was Saren. No, get away, Ashley. That's my Prothean beacon. Greedy woman. Shepherd! No, don't touch it. It's too dangerous. Oh, dear. We broke the beacon. Looks so awesome. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Wow, that was a bit of a tantrum. And all that because I used the beacon. And... A nice long loading screen. Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You think? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. 
The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? <laughs> I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright, so that was a nice long discussion with our Captain. Um, I guess... We should head up to the bridge and uh, talk to Joker, but on the way there, I reckon we might as well see what our crew members have to say, if anything. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. 
Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. For those who haven't yet played this game, communication with your crewmates is yes, quite Commander. an important part of something? the game, which is why we're spending so much time talking with our crewmates. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Peyton's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, there we go. There's Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Okay, nothing to say from Caden. Um, so, yes. Uh, as you can see, it is a very strongly uh, story-driven game. And it does have a lot of emphasis on getting to know your crew and the secondary characters that follow you around which is what I think makes this game so good uh, what's that over there oh come back uh, I want to see that no there we go so we've updated our codex Oh, is that, all, is that all you had to say? Sheesh. With that being said and done, we are going to head to the bridge to talk to the Joker. And I will cut this episode here. Uh, don't forget to join me in the next episode where we will go and meet the council. And maybe do a few side missions. We'll see how much we can fit in the episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay safe.